Hello everyone, my name is Gaetan Verna and I'm the director of the Power Plant Contemporary Art Gallery. So Miriam uh, and I have been working for a few years towards this uh, uh, inauguration of this new exhibition and we're very very lucky to have her joining us today to talk about her work in the studio, her work exhibiting in an institution and also the fact that this for such an illustrious artist is her first major exhibition in North America uh, and also in Toronto and in Canada. She is a world traveler, she's somebody that's very informed about what happens in the world and I think um, as we speak to her about her work we will see how all of these interests and her social political interests and her way of being as a person in, infuses her artwork and how it's translated through the works, through the exhibition, and um, soon we'll just be calling her. So Miriam, I'm um, so happy to have you with us today, and we're now uh, presenting your very first exhibition in Toronto and in North America. So right now, um, what I'd like us to talk about is this, so the title of the exhibition is Me as Happening, and I wanted you to tell me why you chose this title at this particular time. Uh, me as Happening is a, continui a continuity, is as title, the continuity of, uh, from me as human. Mm -hmm. It's a next step, let's say. Me as human was more uh, big, mm -hmm. and me as happening, it has more to do with what, what has happened to me. Mm -hmm. And um, so the first room that I would like us to to speak about is this this uh, old eye, which is... This, I don't think I've made much the, the world self portrait mm -hmm. because in the moment you point on a, on a, on a, on a painting and you say it's a self portrait but it's too definitive. That's why this is a old installation and uh, it's not. Room installations are for me more, uh, more interesting than single works because it has a lot of possibility because uh, you are in the room. You are not in front of a painting or a drawing, you are in the room. And for me it's also very interesting to install it. And if I install it myself, it's it's not very different, but it's always, in this case, it's always a different form of installing, which has to do with the form of the room where it is, mm -hmm. the space where it is installed. And so, the, the, so what, the, what we see when we're in this room, we have a constellation of words, so paintings, we have drawings, um, there's um, one word that I really which I think is surprising, is this little work, which is an early work of 1974. Yes, this is a, uh, this is, in this moment I painted very much uh, a painting which is photorealistic without photos. But I like very much the idea of how uh, the, the people to be on this is an art of the young man. Yeah, and also to keep them guessing and when they will come and as, yes. As, yes. We, as we will see, it's like there's, their expectations cannot be fixed because... Um, no, exactly. Yes. And what is very important in art anyhow, not in what we in mind, but my, my uh, interpretation of art which interests me is that it's not clear what, what, what it is. It's to, to, to show the people something insecure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To keep them guessing and to keep them yes. thinking yes. all the time. Yes. So right now we moved from this small space to this bigger space, which is, I'm just going to show you. So this is the, what we call a LePage Gallery. And the hanging here is quite different from the type of hanging that um, we had in the other space because the works are really, I would say, monumental works. Can you speak to us about Stampa Bregalia, where you live and where you work? In this gallery, I decided here I have to do some, some kind of very beautiful, 
not because they are weak, but because uh, it, it, uh, as long as we install, it, it can mm -hmm. yes. Yes. This means uh, spaces when I live, uh, how I see when I see outside of my, at the, of my studio in the moment, and so it is whole possibility to live is very fundamental mm -hmm. for every body. Yeah, it's part of the, the basic needs of everyone. So we're gonna um, we're gonna move to a next space. This this work is called is called uh, being a woman is my public art. It was a very feminist, so I decided to have all these beautiful spaces mm -hmm. that we use for to misuse them for mm -hmm. my work. And can you can you can you speak a bit more about the title of that work? Because it was very much about women and about... Yes. In this time, I did, I did, uh, I, I did two worlds. World. Mm -hmm. The women's world, which were houses, inside the houses, the, the, the bed, and the outside world, which, which was the man's world, which was war, mm -hmm. economy, and all this sort of stuff. And that's why it's the title. So, um, so now I want to go back to or what you love to call the sex room, which I very much like that title, which is having to love. And I would love for you to speak about this series of early chalk drawings that you've done. And um, between, between seeing your work, you know, reproduced in a book, and then seeing the, the work in the flesh, you really see the, um, you know, your work is at the same time uh, tender, um, joyful, and then really tough and very hard. All of this together, I feel in each of the, the, uh, the paintings, and I would say particularly in this room, we see traces of your feet, we see traces of your hands, so you're very present in the, the artwork, which um, is different than, you know, this notion of an artwork has to be a perfect object where you, you lose the the connection to the human, you, the person who is, you know, taking an emotion and translating it within uh, the artwork. So you're, you're totally in contact with the work. And for instance, so now we're in um, this, this room, having to escape, where we, we go back to something that is so, so current, because as we speak, you know, with the end of the American, you know, 20 years in Afghanistan. And so uh, for us, I've chosen to have this series, which is a really important theme in your work, this thing of refugees, of families. So can you speak a bit more about the importance of that theme for you in your practice? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a shame, and we have to keep talking about it, and we have to keep, to keep questioning it, and as citizens, we have to keep making more room for people to come. Yeah, this is a good way of using art as a possibility to show what is going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a big Seriously. Um, the reason we're speaking over FaceTime is because unfortunately, you know, I feel because of the pandemic, I was robbed of having you come to Toronto to install. So we, we installed with Thomas Higa 
and you and, and the team. And I really want to talk about the composition of this room. And here we have a combination of, you know, pastels, watercolors, large paintings, and then drawings. And I want you to speak about the composition in this room. I call it cluster. I think cluster is something very different than a line. It, it, these are uh, expressions out of uh, the contemporary music, classical music. A cluster is all together. Yeah. And I think each space in my shows has to be very different. You could all do by line, it always works, but the cluster is more all together. Mm -hmm. And this is very well done because it's in the, in the corner, it's all together. And it's, it's, it's another form of storytelling. A cluster is this all together, a line is like reading a, a phrase. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I love this because it, it shows more in a, in, a short, in a short moment where you look at all together. It shows a little how I, how I feel the world is. Mm -hmm. How I look at the world. If I have uh, several spaces, I like to 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 do lines, clusters, classical hanging like museums, mm -hmm. which is beautiful also, but has a completely other form of storytelling. What I like about your process of installation is that basically each visitor can tell their own personal story yes. through your work. Yes. So it's, in, it's an individual relationship that we each get to have with what you have created. Yes, you know, the, the word individual, individuum, is such a complicated uh, thing. It's not as simple as a lot in the moment is discussed. It's not as simple. It's a, it's, I like very much to know each person which looks at pain at my work uh, sees something different mm -hmm. but it's important to me they see the whole as what it is it is what is on the painting it is was what what tells the title mm -hmm. it's not fantasy as the people think uh, art should be it's exactly the contrary but and it's also a question of perspective, and we, all, we each bring our individual perspective. Yes. I think now um, we're going to go upstairs um, yes. to the second floor of the power plant. And so we were talking about, I was talking about uh, this Arthur Rimbaud poem, um, Le Dormeur du Val, and, um, and when I first saw the series, that uh, you called schlafen, which is to sleep, sleeping. Um, I was sleeping. I was mesmerized by how we don't know if they're asleep, if they're ghosts, if they're dead people. It's for sure it's not ghosts, but they are lying. It's a, it's a gesture of lying, mm -hmm. which we don't know what it is exactly. It can be lying for sex, it can be lying for you are dead, it can be... But I, I call it sleep, to sleep or sleeping, because uh, this is the most neutral and cool uh, title. Mm -hmm. And it is exactly this. If you, if you know people, if you look at people who which sleep, they are individual, but they are also a little animal. That's why it's a room installation. Because the first time I did uh, lying people in Oi, mm. and it was very different than standing people, you know. For me, it was completely different. That's why uh, I did this at the end, when I had all these paintings, I decided to do this room installation. And of course, it has to be in a small room where, or in a room, in a space where it, it works. I know that doing Zoom calls and all of this is not the things you love to do. So really, from the bottom of my heart and from, the, from a, big, a big thank you from everyone here in Toronto to allow us to spend some time with, us, with you and for you to share, you know, um, 
you know, your insight about your work. And um, really, I mean, who knows? Fingers crossed. Maybe you could come and see the show, but you know, I know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's okay. It was all so fantastic to work together. Yes. With Thomas and you and everybody. Yes. No, I think it's been the 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 team here is impressed because um, this was about 250 works, um, and um, I love the fact that. Originally, we were supposed to exhibit in summer 2020, but then because of pandemic, we sent the show to Copenhagen, and now the works are here, and it was done in record time. It was incredible. Um, and I, for me. <laughs> yes, I know you had told me before you had said, oh, three, four days, we're done. And I was like, uh, really? So, and I think we've all learned a lot. Um, whether it's the installation crew of my, or myself, we've also learned a lot about how to install this work and how not to make it perfect, because it's not about being perfect. It really is about looking at the work as individual works, but then works that are, that are embedded into a narrative. And this narrative is how the artist, you being the artist, how you choose to have your work react to the space and the condition that are specific to the power plant in Toronto in you know, September um, um, 2021, which means that you know, if we had done the show in five years, it might be completely different. Yes, that's for sure. That's it. <laughs> Oh my God. So really, Miriam, big hugs to, yes, to, to you, to, to everyone. And thank you. And, um, and really, thank you so much for making time in your day to speak to us and to share um, you know, with such openness uh, why you do the work you do. And uh, really, congratulations on this show, because this, this is, um, you're, you're going to change the life of many people who will come and see this exhibition. So, nice. you did well. <laughs> you also. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so, okay. ciao.